Sunday evening, just by Downing Street, and Chris Whitty has unwanted company. I won't follow me. I'm going to change that. He wasn't hurt, but this was unpleasant and could have been worse. The Prime Minister today posted a message saying, I'm shocked at seeing the despicable harassment of Chief Medical Officer Chris Whitty. I condemn the behaviour of these thugs. Our hard-working public servants should not have to face this kind of intimidation on our streets and we will not tolerate it. This kind of incident's become more common around Westminster, sometimes on the back of demonstrations, when recognised figures, politicians, scientists, even journalists, find themselves targets of abuse. The left-wing journalist Owen Jones has been one of them. Whether or not it was politically motivated, I don't know if these are anti-vax consp conspiracy theories or not, they're probably not, they're probably just drunken idiots, but mobile phones plus social media does incentivize this kind of behaviour, there's no question. Police say officers did take the details of the two men involved in the incident here on the edge of St James's Park and they told them to leave the area and they say the incident's been classed as a common assault, but they also say that the victim, Chris Whitty, didn't want to take it any further. For this former senior police officer, that's not good enough. It is absolutely crucial that there is a prosecution in this case, even if Mr Whitty doesn't want to proceed with the charge of assault. And I'll tell you why. There needs to be a deterrent. People that are in the public eye need to be able to go about their business without living in fear of being abused, assaulted or worse. Is what the next step is about. Professor Chris Whitty no doubt will continue working to control the virus. Downing Street says it will keep his security and that of others under review. Andy Bell, 5 News.